Come on, bring it on. I want to hear why I shouldn't take care of my wife. My wife? Yeah. She doesn't belong to you. That's right. No, 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 she isn't your property, and she doesn't need you to take care of her. Mm -hmm. See, that's where all of this comes from. You, you want to take care of us because we're weak, right? Because mm -hmm. we're less than. Mm -hmm. That's exactly, it's exactly what I'm saying. I'll take care of your money. Yeah. I'll take care of your body. Mm -hmm. You really got a problem, you know that? Hulu's highly anticipated new series, The Handmaid's Tale, based on the novel by Margaret Atwood, depicts a devastated futuristic society where the few remaining fertile women are forced to breed for high-status couples. Elizabeth Moss stars as Offred, a handmaid, and O.T. Fagbenle plays her husband. O.T. joins us now to discuss. Welcome, Thanks a lot. Good job on the last name, by the way. Oh, thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> well, what does O.T. stand for, speaking of names? So, my, um, my full name is Olatunde, Olateju, Olalon, Fagbinli. Wow. Which, which is actually like four names. That's which, quite beautiful. Ah, thanks. <laughs> I can't take it. My, my, my dad and my grandfather named me. It's kind of... Where are, they, where are those names from? It's Yoruba, which is um, a part of Nigeria. It's kind of an ethnic group in Nigeria. Beautiful. Is that where your family is from? Your... Well, it's a bit of a mix, actually. My dad's Nigerian, Yoruba, and then on my English side, I've got English and Irish, um, but I've got family from America and Israel and all sorts. Which is why you're an actor, because you can yeah. go anywhere and do anything and <laughs> <Yeah>. be anyone. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's fabulous. So tell us a little bit about the process of working on The Handmaid's Tale. It's such a dark vision of a mm. futuristic society, but it was written in the 80s. Right, right. So why do you think it still resonates so much with audiences today? There's a lot of buzz about mm -hmm. this series. I, mean, I, I think it, it resonates on so many different levels. But fundamentally, actually, although there is like a political side about, you know, the way that men can try and control women's bodies and the way the powerful try and manipulate the, the less powerful, for me, one of the ways it really resonates is about a woman who's struggling against the odds to try and keep her family together. And that's just something that a lot of people can connect to. I come from a single parent family, you know, my, seeing my mom struggle against the system and all the things in her way of trying to get by and trying to do what's best for her family. And so it connects to me on a personal level as well as like the broader political way. Absolutely. And how did you and Elizabeth Moss prepare for your scenes together? Did you guys do a lot of rehearsals? You just step right in and start shooting? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's fun because sometimes, you know, because she's my wife in yes. it, and you never know what kind of chemistry you can have with an individual. And we just hit it off straight away. She's so funny. She's hilarious. And, uh, and she's got quite a dark sense of humor as well. So we <laughs> spent a lot of time, like, banter is what we call it in England. And, um, yeah, so in a way that was preparation because it was just getting our chemistry and understanding right. what our relationship is like as people. Um, and so that, that helped... Because there's a lot of love, I guess, between us. No, and the show. absolutely. You can see that. You guys do have a great chemistry. It's so interesting to hear you now speak because you don't speak with your English accent <laughs> in the in the series. You no. speak with your American accent, right, right, as you right. as you put it. So, do you often play American characters? Yeah, it's really funny, actually. I think you know, you guys have got such a great history, especially in playwriting, mm -hmm. of this am amazing playwrights you have, um, African-American playwrights. And so when I first graduated, I was a theater actor. I went to RADA and I graduated. Yes, the very theater. prestigious Royal Academy of <laughs> Drama. Yes, we've heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and so I did a lot of American plays. I did the Lorraine Hansberry, and I just finished doing Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Um, you know, which is an August Wilson play, The Fences. So, so I, I think that's where I started playing a lot of American roles. Yeah. And is this your first TV series then? Um, no, no. I no, mean, okay. the last time I played in America on television, I did uh, HBO's Looking. Oh, um, yes, that's yeah. right. And so I, I, that. I did yeah. that, which was a beautiful series. I was really happy to be a part of. Yeah. So. So how was working on Handmaid's Tale? Was it darker than anything you've done before? It's certainly a dark series. I mean, it's fascinating, mm -hmm. but it's dark. Well, uh, the, the good thing about my part is that I get to spend a lot of my time um, before everything goes bad. Yeah, so I'm like that's the happy right. guy. Like, I'm just like, but you know, a lot of the time we're we're just enjoying the good life. Before right, you're sort goes of pre-war or pre, was it a revolution? Yeah, Is it exactly. a civil war? I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of a revolution. It's yeah. funny how these things happen though. You know, I guess if you get these kind of populist movements, mm -hmm. which kind of rely less on empiricism and logic and more on emotionalness and, right. you know, uh, national. Did you read Margaret Atwood's novel as preparation? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I did. I saw an interview with her that was fascinating. She said she put nothing in the book that hasn't already happened in human yeah. society. Yeah. So, happened you know, women, yeah. it ha sexual slavery, women not having rights, not being able to own property, mm -hmm. but even totalitarian societies that slowly dissolve freedoms mm -hmm. without people 
realizing it. Exactly. All of that has happened already. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and has happened. I and mean, we have to kind of remain stalwarts and like yeah. and keep our eye out for the ways that big governments and big businesses sometimes try and undermine our rights. Absolutely. And they can do it in so many ways. Absolutely. Now, I understand that you are also a musician, or you were mm -hmm. at one point. Do you yeah. still play? Yeah, I do. Not as much as I should. Like, it's funny, I was just on the way here. I was talking to my little brother, and I was because he's, um, he's getting him saxophone lessons. So I've been oh, trying to, because I play sax, yeah. I've been trying to encourage him to practice every day. And I was like, I'm such a hypocrite. I'm not practicing at all. But um, yeah, I do, um, I do write music and some. That's yeah. fun. So, triple threat. Do you, do you sing? As well? I have been known to sing, mainly in the shower. I've done a couple of musicals. I did Porgy and Bess, another American role. So you dance too. You, uh, you do it well, all. yeah, <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. That's great. And so what is next for you after the series? Um, well, actually, I um, I write and uh, and direct. And so right now I'm developing um, a show back in England. It's a comedy. So, oh, fantastic. Um, yeah. <laughs> after this, uh, the darkness of The Handmaid's exactly. Tale. Exactly. Yeah, life is all about balance. A little so, levity. Yeah. Well, thank you, OT. It's been a pleasure it's speaking so with fun. you. Thanks for coming yeah. in to see us. Thanks.